dreams on hold. Delays in processing student visas mean many international students hoping to start classes at Canadian universities and colleges this fall are instead stuck in their home countries. I'm pretty sad about it, to be really honest, because all my plans for this particular year got like, slashed out in a, in a heartbeat. Tuition is much higher for international students than it is for Canadians. Even if they defer classes, they're required to pay tens of thousands of dollars up front. So that's how it is, but the loan which I took and the interest which I have to pay on it is something which is uh, demanding right now. Before the pandemic, we used to get the decisions in week, one week, two weeks, and in many instances, we actually used to get them within 48 to 72 hours. But now it's taking four to six months. This international student recruiter says he has more than 100 clients in India whose study plans have been disrupted by delays. Global talent and field. The federal government says they are doing everything they can. We expect that we're going to uh, process a little more than 104,000 additional study permits. Uh, there has been an absolute uh, explosion in demand uh, when it comes to Canada's international student program in recent years. Ottawa's task force, made up of 10 federal ministers, says it's also making progress on issues from immigration to passport wait times to airport chaos. The delays we've been seeing at airports are frustratingly unacceptable. I also want to be clear that we won't stop working until this issue is resolved. According to flight tracking company FlightAware, Toronto and Montreal's main airports have been the worst in the world this year when it comes to flight delays. But El Gabra says things have improved significantly over the last month, with numbers moving closer to pre-pandemic levels. Paige Parsons, CBC News, Ottawa.